hello friends this is my very first video about general pediatrics the first topic is fontanel fontanels this is a very important topic for pediatrics as you know there are six fontanels in a newborn and these are as you can see in the very diagram these are one anterior fontanel one posterior fontanel there are two sphenoidal fontanels and there are two mastoid fontanels so our topic is fontanel fontanel note down the points the total six fontanels total six fontanels out of which anterior posterior mastoid and sphenoid anterior fontanel one number posterior one mastoid two sphenoid two so total there are six fontanels as you have seen in the previous diagram total six fontanels so our first topic will be anterior fontanel anterior fontanel anterior fontanel in anterior fontanel what you have to remember it closes at one point five to two years after birth that is 18 to 24 months this is normal this diamond shaped as you've seen in the diagram it is diamond shaped it is diamond shaped so it closes at 18 to 24 months and this diamond shape it measures 2.5 cross 2.5 centimeters it measures 2.5 centimeter into 2.5 centimeter khas baat hai it is open at birth it is open at birth it is at level it is at level that means it is not bulged or not depressed not bulged or not depressed it is pulsatile anterior fontanel is pulsatile so the points were anterior fontanel closes at 1.5 to 2 years it is diamond shaped it measures 2.5 cross 2.5 centimeter open at birth it is at level and it is pulsatile so abnormalities can be abnormalities of anterior fontanel can be deviate closer deviate closer of anterior fontanel that is does not close by two years of life deviate closer deviate closer and the other abnormality will be premature closer that fontanel is close at birth 
or it closes before 18 months so delayed closure of fontanelle it is seen most commonly in first to see most commonly in rickets it is seen most commonly in rickets also seen in hypothyroidism hypothyroidism seen in down syndrome hypophosphatasia hypophosphatasia and cleido cranial dysostosis details of this these very characteristic diseases we will see in later videos so delayed closure of anterior fontanelle occurs in most common in rickets also in hypothyroidism down syndrome hypophosphatasia and cleidocranial dysostosis there can be premature closure of anterior fontanelle there can be premature closure of anterior fontanelle this is characteristic seen in characteristically seen in cranio synostosis synostosis this is characteristically seen in cranio synostosis now something about this very disorder cranio synostosis cranio synostosis this is premature closure of skull bones skull sutures in fact this is premature closure of skull sutures complications of cranio synostosis will be will be microcephaly micro cephaly it can cause raised icp which in turn can cause optic atrophy optic atrophy there will be we are continuing cranial synostosis there will be abnormal shape of skull abnormal shape of skull the bones override each other so that the bone override each other so what can be the treatment of this very disease cranial synostosis the treatment involves prophylactic prophylactic craniectomy prophylactic craniectomy the principle behind this surgery is to let brain grow to let brain grow there are few syndromes associated with cranial synostosis you need to know name of these syndromes only nothing much there are few syndromes associated with cranial synostosis you note down these are apert syndrome apert syndrome cruzen syndrome apert syndrome cruzen syndrome carpenter syndrome and pfeffer syndrome i am repeating there are four syndromes related to cranial synostosis these are apert syndrome cruzer syndrome carpenter syndrome and pfeffer syndrome anterior fontanelle can be depressed 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 anterior fontanelle seen in 
dehydration and bulging anterior fontanel bulging non pulsatile anterior fontanel bulging non pulsatile anterior fontanel in raised ICT ICT these are all you need to know about anterior fontanel these are all you need to know about anterior fontanel for posterior fontanel you just need to remember that it is normally closed at birth it is normally closed at birth and it may remain open it may remain open in 3% of babies 3% of babies so this is all about fontanel and this is all about my very first video thanks for watching this was the Vyanshu. Thanks.